These days, the Crooked River isn't just running through Bowman Dam. It's gushing. Right now, the Ochico Irrigation District is releasing 3,000 cubic feet of water per second into the river, three times what it normally discharges this time of year and close to the dam's maximum release rate. It's the result of a snowy winter and warmer temperatures this month, melting the snowpack and filling the Prineville Reservoir faster than the dam can keep up. Mike, are you encouraged by the amount of water we have this Absolutely. year? Absolutely, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Gorgeous and vital for the city of Prineville and the farmers who use it for irrigation. The, the, without the river, we wouldn't have the agriculture, so it's uh, very important for an economic uh, boom there. At Meadow Lakes Golf Course, parts of the course and cart paths are flooded, giving a whole new meaning to the term water hazard. So for a while, were you offering rentals on scuba gear as well here? We needed a boat to get across, yeah. Earlier this week, the same water that was keeping the greens green was also making it hard to get around the course. Has that happened before? It hasn't happened before. We've had the bridge on 10 closed before. There's a low spot that it sometimes gets to, but we had never had this one closed over here. So definitely was at a higher level than we had ever seen since we've been open in 93. So That good news, bad news dynamic is also playing out in the recreation industry. The newly created rapids are a draw for kayakers, but the surge that creates those rapids can be deadly for one of the biggest economic drivers of the region. Yeah, it's a real concern. Mark Motzko is an avid fly fisherman who has witnessed the decline in the red band trout population in what has been considered a blue ribbon fishery in the past. The fish are affected by gas bubble disease, the supersaturation of nitrogen created by the turbulent water creates gas bubbles in the gills and hearts of fish. It's horrible in fish. It causes tissue damage and whatever. They don't survive it very well. These big pulses of high water really aren't natural for these fish and they don't do very well with it. Motzko says that's not only an environmental impact on the area, but also an economic one. This is a very viable, it has been a very viable river in the past. And not only the personal satisfaction of people being out, going out to fish, but it's, it supports a lot of economy in the area. People come, I've met people here from Washington State, I met people from all over the country to come here to fish. You know, when they come in here, they buy gas, they stay in hotels, they buy food, they buy fishing licenses. So this is, you know, not only from the biological end of it, but from the economic standpoint, um, I think we're missing an opportunity to, to capture that. Some people are critical that this is too much water being released right now, which will damage the fish. Uh, they're concerned. What, how do you answer that? We have to take the water as it comes. And the reservoir is only as big as it is, so we can only handle so much water before it needs to be released. Bowman Dam was created in 1961 to manage irrigation and flood control because of flash floods like this one in 1952 that put most of Prineville underwater. More recently, several years of drought made it a challenge to distribute what little water there was to fit everyone's needs prompting a call for federal legislation to strike a better balance between irrigators, businesses, residents, and the recreation industry. Is there enough water for all constituents, all shareholders in this? Can fishing win as well as agriculture in your mind? With our legislation uh, we put together a couple years ago, yes, everybody wins. Uh, recreationalists get the water to swim in and to, to come down the river. Uh, the fish benefit from the additional flows. The irrigators get certainty for their water. The city is able to uh, mitigate for the water they pump out of the ground for their, uh, for their wells and their municipal water. It, it's a win-win it's a for everyone. 